as I showed in my last video that we have made some couple of true and false statement that is that is the basic of the formulas and uh, I will congratulate you if you have done this if you have worked on the structure which I have given if you have worked on the greater than smaller than greater than equal to not uh, smaller than or equal to or not equal to or equal to so if you practice this a bit of just for 10 for 15 minutes also you can regain strength and after doing that you can uh, you will have the courage to do some more things you know dynamically you can see that i have just uh, made the data more clear and conscious i have just added i have just uh, kept it so that it's, it's uh, more more visible and in a, a better format so you can see this. so as i told you that the main thing is true and false in all the is the beginning of the formula so this is the major, major structure this is the logic function which you work on is it true or is it not true is it true or is it false so i have showed you over here that how it works equal to and how i have showed you in numer numeric uh, order also so true and false uh, so there is one one column is hidden over here i think it's hidden so it's hidden over here so let me open that okay so you can see this is the formula over here and how this has been working so let me get, copy this to the other segment over here and uh, still the formulas are the same and let me uh, i'm purposely keeping this uh, uh, this area empty so i'll show you what is the what is the reason behind that in the next couple of minutes so okay so now we have give, got the answers so true and false so true and false doesn't look good you know if you are in some terminology you can say what is it true or false it doesn't look good uh, so it's just like some true and false uh, you are learning you are studying in some uh, some high some uh, primary or secondary school is it true or false and all so when you are grown up and you are matured you know you want something more uh, dashing and dynamic so we can give some fancy names for true and false right? so if you give true and false whatever name is required so let me give what how to use the if condition in these areas and several areas what is the logic behind if condition and why many people fail to understand the logic behind if condition if you just understand the logic behind if condition your life will be very very easy so you will be very well versed with formulas most of the formulas work on if conditions before when i was in the class and i there was getting the lecture of if condition you know i used to sleep because i didn't get uh, proper thorough knowledge because it was not practical so when we uh, work in some organization and then we see the if conditions working and the logic behind it then you are very mesmerized and you are amazed that oh this is the real reason behind it so the motivation is a very important factor over here so let's see what is if condition if you see true and false doesn't look nice so let's give some good names of so false and true so let, if it is true i'll give you as it as good and if it is false i will give you it is as bad so you can give any name okay so always remember when you give some names you always have to put inverted commas you have to use inverted commas for any text or any reference because uh, without inverted comm commas is used for the numerical numer numeric so in coming uh, things you will come to uh, in the next few days you will come to know what is the logic behind that and how to do it so if you are selling thinking if you want to put if for this if you want to put if and just you have to write is equal to you can make it as if so so if you write if and put a back parenthesis we call it parenthesis not back in excel term it's called parenthesis so now you can see it has been getting bold whatever i select it is get, it will get bold so now you can see when i remove the cursor this is has getting bold so the logical test is already done so you have done the test that is true or false so now if you have to what you have to do next is put a comma you can see a small comma over here so this is excel is giving you this is a guide for the formula this it will keep on helping you i can make it more uh, easier for you when you click this and you can see logical test to true if it is true i'll show you but please don't please avoid this because if uh, if you are writing a large formulas you will get confused here and there so for just helping you i'll show you if b is equal to d2 the answer is false so what if it is true so let me give you the if it is should be good i will be writing good but here i don't need to put the uh, i don't need to put the uh, i don't need to put the this in this in this uh, type as a uh, inverted commas I, I because excel will automatically take this when i left the cursor it automatically 
pixel has conveyed that it is it has to be in inverted commas so now let me put this as bad and i put a tab the x automatically excel will take this as a inverted commas you can see this so this is going to help you in the beginning but for larger formulas it is always best to avoid it so let me show you again how it is happening so okay so without the without this i will show you again once again how to do that let me remove everything okay just remove this so let's have write it equal to now you read the condition if and bracket now what is the logical test logical test was b2 e is equal to d2 and we have to put a comma over here. you can see the comma over here okay you can see a comma over here i'll put it in a comma and if it's true it should be a post in inverted comma is good so this, this is now highlighted and we can see highlight now if it is not again there is a comma over here put a comma over here so if any put a comma automatically it will go here if you put forget to put the comma it will give you error and there is the problem happening we lose interest when we get small errors we lose heart so i just try to follow the guide of the excel now if it is false put inverted commas bad or you can see bad okay and close the bracket suppose let me let me do let me put an enter so it, it shows if it is false it will show as a bad so if i what will happen if i remove one comma and enter see do you want excel if excel will try to correction if you say no there is a problem you you will not get the answer a single comma here and there a single uh, mistake in the inverted commas also if it, what will happen if i don't put a comma over here it's not taking properly it's giving false but we have to put a comma it's okay now i think in the advanced feature it is taking but always try to re uh, remember to put a comma because if you don't if you don't put it excel won't understand now it apostrophe is and in advanced features is microsoft 2016 excel i think it has it is making corrections automatically but in the older version it was it will give you an error so okay let me show you again how to do it in another easy uh, simple format which we used to do okay equal to go to this symbol over here this is enter this is cancel so you can go to insert function click on the insert function so it is asking which function you want you have to view as if you are using an if condition there are a lot of functions over here there are thousands and thousands of formula so the major the major formulas are, are always in the top and if you re most recently used you can find that oh, this is on the most recently used if you don't find if you have to go in logical and testing you have to go in logical formulas and you will find if if you're doing for the first time and false or this are in the logical formulas or the more most recently used are here so you can get if over here because this some average and these are the things we use daily in our day to day life so if i do if okay so now what is asking what is the logical test so logic i can either go from here i can say that logical test is this equal to this that's it the excel is doing the brackets and all uh, so it will help you okay so and here also i don't need to put a inverted comma if you put also this doesn't this doesn't give you any harm but it is always try it is uh, if you are using this excel will do for you so good and you would put a tab see you can see inverted commas are here automatically the system will take the inverted comma if it is bad put a tab automatically excel take the inverted comma so this is f if condition if you have run if you are able to do this then you have to congratulate yourself that you have done the the thing is half accomplished your results so now you are a good you are a, uh, a smart advanced user in excel so it is bad so again you can scroll it down so you can see it's good and bad and bad and good and whatever now if you change the formulas also if you do it uh, less greater than greater than and uh, see the formulas are now from from two or false it is going to make it that bad and good because this is the instruction given from us to excel and if you, if you can do the same over here also if you want you can copy the formula you can see control c control c and you can see this is values this is paste this is formulas so you can you can you can paste the formula also so you can see you can paste the formula you can uh, uh, the same formula if it is uh, if it is false it has to become bad 
Uh, the for okay, uh, the formula here is uh, here the same format has taken from here. So uh, it depends on the things here. 80 and 80 are greater than equal to good. So this is asking greater than equal. To, this is asking greater than. If it is greater than, if you if you make it equal to, yeah, if it is also equal to, when giving as bad. So uh, B14 and D14. You can check the formulas. No, sorry, it's it's not, it's not taken B14. It's just taken C14. Okay, that is the reason we are getting error. So yes, okay, one more thing I can show you that if you want to change the formula, you can change it from here also. You can make it C C14, or you can do is Control Z, double click on that. So this is the red blue color. The blue color is the area over here, and red color is the area over here. You can see blue and red. So what you can do is you can just pull it from keep a cursor over here and pull it here. See now the B has come to C and keep, hit enter. So you can see it is equal to this is equal to yes is true true is good. This is true, just pull it down good. So which are not equal to are bad now. So you can see the power of if con if uh, conditions how if is making your life more easier. Okay, apart from this, now you have to congratulate yourself and try some more practice on this. I'm going to show you the other functions in uh, formulas. Apart from now, you have learned, learned equal to functions, true and false logic, if condition. So now there's something you can learn. Something is called is is or something is called is functions. So in later part, I'm going to show you how to work on nested if and and or functions and uh, is now functions. So now is now is not if you have some errors, but if I will show you some easy other formulas which is called in, is like is if function there is something called is function is. So is equal to is. So if you want to check that is uh, is 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 blank is error. This is a lot of is is not is seven. It is is even if it is even number or odd number. So don't confuse is seven. It's not seven. It is 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 even even. Is logical? Is not logical? Is text not? So there are a lot of formulas in this Excel. In a smart, uh, they have made different sort of new functions also. So non-text, non this number, and all this weak number also. So you can the if you want to check this is a text. So what you do is is you have to type P E X P. You can either double click here also. All these formulas will go in the caps lock. If you double click here, or you can type it completely. So now you can see the formula. Okay, now it's text. Now it is asking value. Either you can type from here, or if you want more easy, you can go here. You can select the value, or if you are, don't want to select the value, you can select from here also. So what I'm my, is text. So I'm asking Excel, is this text? So I'm clicking on here, and I'm making it's, it's already given answer. It is coming as true. So now I got it as true. So if I scroll it down, all this is true because all are text. Okay, now if I want to check the same thing over here for this one, either I can type here or I can pull it down. So this is a cursor over here. It is giving false, you know. So this was B2, and now you can double click here. You can see it B2, but it's the same formula is it text is asking for this one. This is not text. If you just see. It has been highlighted. It is not text, so it is giving you false. So if you can practice this also, now I'm going to show you is number equal to is number is number. Double click here. Okay, let me check. Is this a number? So what I will be giving you to, to here it is. I will be selecting this value and closing the parenthesis, or you can do from here also. Okay. So open the parenthesis and close the parenthesis. False. If it asks me, is this is number? This is not a number because this is a text. So let me pull this down. This is answer. If you want, you can uh, do this for the C. For this is done for B now. Now you can do for C also. You can pull the cursor. Now it is giving you because it has selected C2 and this is text here. Yeah. So it is showing it as a text. Here, if you want to do changes also, you can see. If you want, you can put here as one. See, then there will be changes over here. 
if you put this uh, if you put a some name you put a w see it is changing here so the formulas are working so now you came to know about it now if you want to see it is blank if you want to see something is blank is equal to is blank so don't click here so what is the value value is over here let me give you in the beginning and i'll close the parenthesis enter it's giving false because this is not blank so if i pull it down the whole area it is not blank but the same thing when i change the formula when i copy this here or i, I make it as e2 or i just pull this here either one is okay and i put enter it is giving true because this is a blank so there is no data over here so even if you if you have something if you have let me show you something uh, let's let's remove this and i want to type here something like 100 and i will highlight it in let's highlight this in white color so now this is invisible okay but still if you want to check this you can see is blank and let's try to pull down and see is it the data is coming see you will see it's a false it's showing false but you can see how is it false because there is no data but there is a data over here it is hidden in color there is 100 if you just go back and change the color you can see this is the, so excel will even if you are hiding or uh, no, coloring the non the data in different color format also excel will recognize this so uh, this is and uh, again if you want to you can try over here you can use if condition over here go to uh, the beginning of formula type if i f uh, parenthesis and here the logical test is done okay let me give you is text okay if let's give it if condition first let's give if logical condition if, uh, just a minute it should be if logical condition yeah to remove this okay okay logical if uh, what we are given is true or false same we will give like good and bad we will give something like uh, oh what we can give you something we have to give something uh, like uh, just be like happy we will put in unmuted commas happy happy and if it is false it should be in order comma sad and you need to close the parenthesis so you can see that it is giving happy so you can pull this down so you can see so here also you can give if condition so wherever necessary you can give if condition and uh, the same thing you can do for here also but again if you copy this it will copy the same formula of this one over here so you have to give, be very careful in that if you want to copy just if you copy this the whole formula will be copied here again so that will, it will be another uh, it will be another mistake so i think you can you have learned now three formulas if is text is number is blank so you have learned four formulas and you can apply this here you can practice on this so next also i'm going to show you how to work on nested if so and what is nested if nested if is if you are having more than three to four logical conditions and how to get the results if you and then i'll show you how to work on or function if suppose you have two columns and you have for uh, you have two or more so you can use or function for different logical tests and you can use and function if you want both if you are uh, if you want some uh, i can give you in examples also so in this way i will show you how to work on formulas and it will be very easy and you, after you are good in formulas there are many other logical tests to done and this is just the beginning you can see that in formulas there is no end i don't think anyone has uh, learned all the formulas in excel and vb because there is a lot to be done there so uh, keep practicing and uh, make your own data and small data and practice it so once if you have done with this 
I'll be sharing you in the next video how to work in and our function and uh, um, some uh, the nested if function that's really important. So happy learning. I, I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel and share your, my video and give your comments. If you have more ideas, please share with me. Um, okay, thanks for watching.